What's up guys, my name is Splattercat and I'm here today with Pixabyte to take a look at this week's indie releases. First up on our big ol' list of the day is Crayon Chronicles. Created by Outer Grid Games, Crayon Chronicles invites players on a randomly generated role-playing adventure to scoop, loot, stab, and shoot to level up, meet friends, and upgrade your kit. Much like most of my college projects, the game is hand-drawn in crayon and doesn't take itself too seriously. Released on June 29th, the game can be purchased for $349 through Desura for the Windows platform. The game will additionally be featured on Xbox 360 in the future. Next in a short line of investigative thrillers, Cognition Episode 3 The Oracle puts players in control of Erica Reed, a Boston-based FBI agent. Put your point-and-click skills to the test as you attempt to unravel the mysteries surrounding the death of a John Doe. Using beautiful hand-drawn sequences to illustrate its narrative, Cognition Episode 3 became available on June 30th through Desura and can be purchased for both Mac and Windows for $9.99. It always makes me happy to see dungeon crawlers getting modern attention, so imagine my slack-jawed yelp of joy when Haiku Interactive published Dungeon Smash The Dark Isles on June 30th. Featuring all the tropes one might expect from a 1980s Dungeon Master's manual, players take control of burly bruisers, wily wizards, and scantily clad Amazonian nudie ladies to cut, cleave, and carve their way through a randomly generated twin-stick dungeon crawl. Costing 240 Microsoft points, or around $3, Xbox 360 owners can get in on the adventure through the Xbox Live Marketplace. If, much like my Uncle Ted, you've spent time wondering what it might be like to don the persona of a fourth grade girl, get your Crocs and grab your socks because Tessellation has something to show you. Use the powers of time travel in this first person co-op puzzler to solve mind-bending quandaries and keep yourself in school. The game is available free of charge following its June 30th release for the Windows platform. While its title might make one think of paltry curses laid upon globo national private military companies, The Curse of Blackwater is, in fact, a horror survival game by Mark Steen, which pits players against a haunted maternity hospital. Fans of Amnesia and Paranormal are invited to test their resolve and jump at the sound of their own feet as they tread lightly through dusty halls and forsaken corridors. Buy a 30-pack of new undies, but really, I think you could probably get by with just one pair of brown undies and grab the game through the developer's website for $9.99 for the Windows, Mac, and Linux platforms. Grab your top hat, pea coat, and otherwise gear-laden goggles for the July 1st release of Ion Force Studios, steampunk puzzler, The Wooden Clock. Awake from hibernation and struggle for survival as you transverse cog-clad scenery towards your liberation. Available for $2.99 through the developer's website, this Windows title is looking forward to a Desura release in the near future. There were any number of immature, tongue-in-cheek jokes I could have used when discussing Huge Peddler's physics-based shooter, Thrust Control. However, in the interest of keeping it classy and also schnazzy, I'll just say that Thrust Control puts players in control of a small ship which must account for gravity, momentum, drag, and fuel while navigating increasingly complicated corridors. Avoid enemy fire and thrust your way to victory for $4.99 through Desura for the Windows, Mac, and Linux platforms. The ocean is a temperamental mistress and has left explorers to her whim since men first set out in rickety ships. Hammerhead Studios seeks to tap into this untamable natural force in their July 2nd release of Undercurrent. Take control of an undersea exploratory vehicle or submarine and solve puzzles while reflecting on the startling, mystifying, and otherwise haunting persona of the deep sea floor. Available for free through Desura, the game is available for the Windows platform. For those among you who enjoy twin-stick teleporting fun, Velocity Ultra by Future Lab was released on July 2nd for the PlayStation Vita. Drawing from old-school top-down roots and vigorously sprinkling in breakneck shoot-'em-up themes, players can expect a non-stop, finger-twitching dispensation of explosive goodness with every level. Available for $7.49, the game can be purchased for the PS Vita through the PlayStation Store. Zombies can be absurdly depressing, and not just due to the fact that they're a complex social metaphor, but they are offensive to pretty much every one of your senses. Luckily, in Zombusters, we have access to Flamethrowers, the naturally occurring zombie retardant. Take control of four characters through ten levels of multiplayer-enabled goodness, and blast your way out of the Hungry Horde. Developed by Retrowax Games and published on July 2nd, the game is available for $2.99 and can be purchased for Windows through Desura. Xbox 360 owners can additionally acquire the game for a measly 80 Microsoft points in the Xbox Live Marketplace. Hot off the skillet of its own critical acclaim, Ian Campbell's action title Bleed was released on July 3rd through Steam. Take control of Rin, our pink-haired protagonist, and slide, glide, and provide fire against foes galore in this retrospective action shooter. 
Fast-paced and frenetic, fans of fleet-footed firefights can grab the game for $4.99 for the Windows and Mac platforms. And while it seems like this week might be chock-a-block with shooter titles, each has been distinct in its own way. Quick Stick Deadly continues this trend and challenges players with a side-scrolling shootout with its own sinister twist. Maneuver, rotate, and roll your perspective to gain the highest score possible, and select from multiple characters, each with their own playstyle. Released on July 4th, Adventurous Productions has okay distribution through Desura, and interested parties can grab the game for $2.99 for the Windows platform. Now, there are many ways to waste a Sunday afternoon, but my personal favorite is challenging my friends to a punishing display of superior gaming skills in a multiplayer arena. For some, the win is good enough, but I personally like to seal the deal with a ceremonial booty dance of victory. Multiplayer arena games like Jam Souls offer opportunities to gloat galore and bring fantastic character design to the table to boot. So if you've got friends getting a little too big for their britches, challenge them to any number of party games in Chromatic Dreams Jam Souls available July 4th through Desura for the Windows platform for $2.39. Top-down action puzzlers have long stuck to the idioms provided by classic games such as Zelda. Find items, explore dungeons, and use said items to solve the puzzles contained therein. However, the process has become muddled with unnecessary mechanics as time has gone along. Developer Ludosity attempts to return simplicity and function and marry them with tight controls and gorgeous graphics in their recent title, It'll Do. While initially released for the Ouya and Windows platforms on July 5th, when you purchase the game at $13.99, you can also expect a Steam key when the game is made available on that platform. With that said, it looks like we've reached the end of our big old list of indie releases for the week. My name is Splattercat and I'm here with Pixabyte, taking a look at the latest and greatest in gameplay footage, previews, and reviews. I hope you'll choose to join us next week because we will have something fresh for you, and I will see you guys there, so take care, everybody.